And who's that in the kitchen? It's Violator. And he made cookies. Ooh. Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with McFarlane Toys Deluxe Throne Spawn. From the new Spawn Wave, this is the first Al Simmons that we're getting from the new retail Spawn Wave. And I got a tip off from my friend, Doug Dollmaker, AKA Fabian's Finest Freaks. He let me know that these were in stock and shipping at Target. And at the time of this recording, they are still in stock and shipping from Target, even though my Amazon pre-order says that they're not coming out until July. So I'm not going to be complaining about getting a toy this early, that's for sure. But you know how it is with pre-orders. You roll the dice. I tend to go with Amazon. Uh, they, they tend to be the most consistently early-ish deliveries for me. I tend to not go through Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth because they don't ship as early. But if you really want to be the first one on the block to get a toy, you kind of got to go the redundant pre-order route, pre-order from several places. That's usually more trouble than I'm interested in getting into. And if you're going through Walmart pre-orders, you might as well just hit yourself in the head with a hammer because you're you're never getting that pre-order. They're never going to come through. So, so thanks again to Doug for letting me know that this guy was in stock and shipping. Let's just get him out of here, right? This is going to be a doozy. Lots to compare him to. So first up, let's just take a look at Al himself here. This is a mostly new sculpt as far as I can tell. I'm detecting some reuse here. I think the hands, I think this part of the leg, but as far as I can tell, most of it is new. It looks pretty good to me. It's slightly less um, rippling symbiote look like the Mortal Kombat one, a little bit more smooth um, with just some hints of these sort of striations here let's come in here start seeing some of the detail start moving them around great movement here i love these butterfly sockets here that allow for a great expressive range of motion and it's you can see him and without that cape over his shoulders you can see even that much more how, how effective these are at, at Tiny, subtle body language shifts that really can sell a great pose. Double elbows get nice and closed. Kind of unusual here that this is just left unpainted as if it's not wrapped around, as if this gauntlet isn't fully wrapped around. It makes it feel like something's missing. It makes it feel like it really does need that paint right there. And you can see kind of this, it's meant to be sculpted as if the gauntlet wraps around. Ball joints at the hand. He has these kind of pinchy accessory hands, which are fine. But I do much prefer some of those wild gesturing hands. So now we come to the torso. This is where we're getting a lot of big improvements here. Mortal Kombat spawn definitely couldn't do stuff like this. Extreme. So that's great to see. This um, torso piece almost, it's its rigid up here, but then right at the edges, it's got a lot of give. That's interesting kind of hybrid material here. The skull and the chains, they look okay. I, I appreciate that they got paint on them. They're holding a little bit of detail, but they look a little gummy, you know? Big kicks, which is great. We know we're going to be sitting him in a chair here. So he's definitely got a ton of movement at the, at the legs. Definitely some hip rotation. That comes in more as you lift the legs. The legs both go forward without like splaying out too much. They stay nice and Centered there. Big kicks back. This, will, this is going to be a nice, fun, poseable figure. I think everyone that was disappointed by the lack of articu articulation in Kickstarter spawn, they're going to find a lot to enjoy here. I think this is an improvement from Mortal Kombat spawn for sure. I mostly like the Kickstarter spawn. We'll look at them next to each other here in a second, but... Keep coming down through this stuff. Sculpted ball joint ankles. T 
toes. You love to see it. Highly articulated. These McFarlane toys are highly articulated. And if you hear someone saying otherwise, they probably haven't actually held one in their hand. He's got no cape. To accommodate sitting in the throne, they've just given him the, this top of the cape here. They've, they've done this in uh, spawns in the past. There are a couple different versions where they gave him sort of smaller different pieces of the cape that could be attached to like a base. This is going to go over the back. It's nice and soft and it pegs in there. That looks pretty cool. I love the shape of this collar. I love, love the way that's blown out there uh, in an asymmetrical way and these great points on the shoulder and nice like ratty looking material there. It's got this kind of unusual sort of flappy forward thing, which I think is meant to sort of look best when he is going to be sitting in that throne with his arm kind of perched on the on the armrest. We'll get there in a minute. As far as like displaying this guy with this cape piece outside of the throne pose, I don't know. I mean, I love what's here, but it really doesn't quite feel like Spawn, right? I would imagine that we'll see this figure again without the throne and with a more substantial sort of cape. Ho hopefully somewhere in between the Mortal Kombat one and the Kickstarter one, you know, something new and big and billowy without being the rigid plastic uh, Kickstarter approach. Now let's move on to the throne, which this thing is actually incredible. The amount of detail is fantastic. The amount of paint is pretty good. Definitely missing missing some, some details, but it looks pretty good. It feels kind of like a vinyl-y material. Um, and then you can see it comes here in two pieces. So this is just gonna peg in right there. And now it's got this gruesome looking overhanging skull thing. Let's come in and see some of these details. So ammo pouches, a lot of like centipedes crawling around. There's a tire in there, definitely lots of skulls. Buzzsaw, motorcycle handle. I love these cartoony, silly bones. What do we got in here? It looks like more pieces of a motorcycle, maybe. More buzz saws, the stock of a gun. Crates and more bones and more tires. Man, this is fun. This is really cool. I love all the detail in this. Uh, and these big, if, if you can hear it, if you can hear it as, I, as I'm moving around, it feels like, I hear, it feels like vinyl. Yeah, I love these spines coming up to the skull. Great detail. With some extra paint, you could really make this guy sing. Now let's see what it's going to take to get this guy in this chair. Probably not too much. I think he's... Okay, that looks pretty freaking cool. So you can see here that I've... I was thinking at first that this flap was meant to go over the bicep and the forearm, but I posed it here with it wrapping around the armrest of the throne, and I'll show you why. Now I have here the original throne spawn. This is on loan from the collection of Galactic Geek, that's Galactic underscore Geek, and actually not long ago I did a collection tour at Galactic Geek's house, and I posted that video I posted that video, what feels like a million years ago now, but it was actually only two months ago. And I posted that video when we hit 3,000 subscribers on this channel, and now we're at nearly 4.5 thousand. So if you are new and you missed out on that collection tour, check out that video. We have fun, we clown around for about half an hour. And appreciate Galactic Geek's huge collection of not just McFarlane, but Hasbro, Marvel Legends, and, and Star Wars Black Series, and, and the biggest Toy Story collection I've ever seen. But what you can see here is, this really is from back in the day when McFarlane did just make statues. You got this spawn that has almost no articulation in the legs. Um, just some cuts there right at the hip. He's meant to go in this chair permanently. When you hear people say McFarlane makes statues, they're talking about this era. This era is, is long, long past. What is also long past is the tremendous amount of paint apps on this thing. So you can definitely see this original one, it does have an edge on the new one in some ways. I love the little rats um, on the base here. 
Obviously the paint is a big improvement. Can you, you can see here how long uh, McFarlane's been using this um, rubbery stuff. This is years old, it's holding up pretty well. This nice highlight underneath here kind of gives the whole thing more dimension. And it has this larger base where the feet can step on to the base of the throne itself, which is nice. But like I was mentioning, the way the fabric of his cape folds underneath here on the statue, I think shows us how it's meant to, to be on this one. Because it also has this cape running down here. This one has the cape running around the same way to suggest that Spawn is sitting on his massive cape. This is super cool. I mean, there's certainly, you know, the paint is a big factor on what makes this original uh, look so great comparatively. Uh, but the truth of the matter is we used, to, we used to get a lot of paint. Now we get a lot of articulation. And while that is a bit of a bummer, uh, I bought this one. I don't own this one. You know, what does that tell you about which I prefer? I prefer the articulation. Now let's give it a spin here. A tremendous amount of presence on this thing, especially once you see it from like a more of a three quarter or profile view. This thing's gonna look great on a shelf. This, in my opinion, is so much preferable to a just standard base. Bringing the base up uh, into the realm of where the figures live and giving them something to interact with, I much, much prefer that over a, a standard base. So I love to see this. And even though it's our first Al Simmons, you know, to, to come out of the gate strong with, with something like this, the full-blown throne, it's nice. It's nice to see. Take a look at Al here off of the throne with the cape still on. And some of these shapes are kind of cool, but I think it's a weird, it would be a weird choice to, to have this on him and not have him sitting down. Especially the way this big flap here hangs on the side. Wait for it. See the way that juts forward like that's kind of weird. And now here he is without the cape. This is gonna be fantastic for people that prefer cloth capes and love to give uh, figures their own custom fabric capes. Also, it's gonna be great for people that wanna kinda of kit bash this and Kickstarter and Mortal Kombat 11, some of those other spawns that are floating around to create their own ultimate preferred spawn figure. So let's look at this guy with some of those other figures now. Now these two right here are, I think, the biggest points of comparison, especially if you're trying to kit bash your own. So for one, the Kickstarter modern spawn is inaccurate with, with the placement of the big boot. I think this is accurate to like one cover that somebody drew the wrong way. It's meant to be on the right foot and really give it that asymmetrical lopsided look. Now both these guys have better paint apps. There's more weathering and more details brought out by the paint on these guys. This guy clearly has the best chains. Um, these are kind of interesting with the barbed wire, but I think these have an edge on those. Man, this cape has never quite done it for me. It's kind of cool and all, but it's not quite spawn. Obviously this is a real spawn cape, but it, and it prohibits the figure from moving that much. I know people had a lot of problems with this Kickstarter spawn. I, I'm on Todd's side for most of it. I think this torso still looks aces. It looks streets ahead of both these. Uh, the, the one thing that I didn't love was the weird plug head um, with, with no articulation at the base of the head. It's at the bottom of the neck and it, you can't do anything. As soon as you move it, it, look, it makes a weird gap. It kind of, it's annoying. See, so when you come in and like compare some of the crucial details, I think he's got the weakest ones of the three. This is Mortal Kombat's big glove and big boot. Maybe Throne Spawn's boot. Throne Spawn's boot is cooler, but the paint on Mortal Kombat's look is, looks better. Ditto for the wash on those chains, right? Compare the gauntlet on Kickstarter. Kickstarter's way better, no question. Chains, etc. So he ends up having some of the weakest details of the three. But the, the fun factor is very high. I'm sure they'll use this body, pieces of this body, many more times to come. And I gave him a couple Kickstarter spawn accessories here just for flair, threw Malefic in there. Either one of these capes would be great to throw on this guy. Here he is next to a couple other spawns. That's Gunslinger and She Spawn. And actually, hang on, let's cycle his weapons out too. There he is with She Spawn's sniper rifle. Very cool, fits, fits really well with that figure. Now I give him another weapon from Kickstarter spawn. And here he is with Raven 
and Violator. And you know what I always want to see when I get a Mega Fig out. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a squeeze, but he can definitely hold on to that spawn. And of course, balance is going to become an issue, and you can see his hand's not wrapped perfectly around. But he can kind of pinch him in there, and I bet with some... movement you could probably get pretty amazing action scene happening there that is very bad I get it the balance I mean who knows how long that pose would last but he's balancing it okay right there and of course we have to see him next to clown and soul crusher and I just I like that pose that I got soul crusher in and I don't really want to take him out so uh you can deal with it and let's go to, uh, for a trip down memory lane here with uh, Spawn 3, the original Hamburger Head variant, and Al Simmons from the Total Chaos line, which was a really badass toy line back in the day, in the early days of McFarlane Toys. And we can't leave the throne out of the comparison, so here it is next to the Dark Side throne from DC Multiverse and the OG one. And while we're here, let's welcome to the Hall of Fame the one and only Galactic Geek. That's Galactic underscore Geek. Thanks again for letting me use this throne spawn here, this OG one. Galactic Geek and I, we used this spawn back when we made the Spawn Dreamhouse commercial. If you haven't seen that, do check it out. So that is throne spawn. Uh, this is a keeper for me uh, because I was in a position where I was like, well, I got that Kickstarter spawn. I don't ac exactly need a new Al Simmons. That one is, is really going to be hard to get off the shelf, right? Uh, but then coming with, in hard with this throne, this is exactly what I was looking for, for a new spawn release. But if you're not digging the throne and you'd rather just get a new spawn with a full cape for 20 bucks, then I would say wait, and that's probably going to happen. And not just that, but we'll probably get a retro uh, OG spawn without the big boot. Uh, you know, the same torso with different arms and legs. I, I'm sure we'll be seeing that happening in the future. So make up your own mind. For me, this is this is much needed addition to the collection. If not, hold out. Uh, you, we'll, you'll get a 20 or $25 one with a full cape. It'll happen. So there you go, folks. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.